I am at the Irish Museum of Modern Art in the last room of the Howardina Pindell exhibition. The exhibition walks you through some very difficult and painful, I would say, periods of American and global history, but also of Howardina's life. Issues related to racism, justice, really vital and important themes. Within the last two rooms, this one included, there's a burst of color, which actually feels like you walk into the long hallway and it's a relief. And this was intentional. The artists really wanted to give viewers a space of respite, both to acknowledge what they've just seen, and I think also a rest for the eyes and for the spirit, which is so essential. And what's fascinating to me about this is as a woman of color, I understand how much respite and rest is needed just walking through the world as a racialized being. I found it so fascinating that the artist chose to create these works with this intention in mind because in some way to me it continues to speak to the ways in which black women practice the modality of care in the world. That even the act of doing this to me is a way of caring for the viewers, even though that care is something we ourselves need, but it's a way of caring for the viewers and giving them space to think and process. Fascinatingly and funnily enough, the space and the processing that we are often not afforded ourselves. I also love these works because they speak on another level to the artist finally getting the recognition she needs. These works are much larger than the other pieces we see. And part of why they are so large is because she finally had received the recognition that affords her, literally, the extra hands to help her make these works. I'm drawn particularly to the work behind me, which is untitled, made in 2022, but actually also goes by the name Trees and Kudzu. It draws you in, it's so compelling, the burst of green, but also it reminds me of nature, right, and the joy of being outside. That joy is free, it's for everyone. And I think so much of what we see in the other rooms, not just her work, but in the world, undergirding racism and injustice is always capitalism in some way, shape or form. So to be faced with this painting that focuses on nature, something that's free for all of us, is very powerful for me. And I also love the color. When I think about these beautiful sort of pastels, those colors are often associated with femininity and with softness. And as history can tell you, those things are not things we associate with blackness, least of all with black female bodies. So to see that in this room is an affirmation to me, for me, but also speaks to an awareness that there's so many elements of power and formation and thinking in how we perceive other people, right? And the room we allow for others to be in the world. Thank you.